Okay, this video is going to show you how to set up a half Atwood with a Pocket Lab and a Maker Kit cart. And here you can see the Pocket Lab is attached to the wheel of the cart and it's going to rotate. And we're actually using the gyroscope. Um, some string and you'll need some weights. And I have other sets of weights I put in plastic bags here. Okay, here's the important part. This is the Velocity Lab app. There's one word, Velocity Lab. It's a separate app that you download for free in the App Store. And it has three graphs. The top is position, the middle is velocity, and the bottom is acceleration. And there you can see the graphs as I roll the cart and the Pocket Lab spins. Okay, so um, the Atwood machine, uh, you keep the total mass the same and transfer the, the mass from the, uh, the weight that's falling there to the carts. And here's a, just a test trial. And you can see the cart and the pocket lab rotates. And you can see the data on Velocity Lab. Okay, so when you do the real trials, you press zero and you'll see that this sets the position to zero. And you press record, that's the little button on the bottom, and now it's going to record this data and we'll be able to play it back later. So you, you run your trial and then when you're done you press the record button again and it stops and now you can examine the data. The bottom graph is acceleration and you can see the data points. The middle graph is velocity and again, you can click on the data points and read the values. And the top graph is position. You can export this data to Excel if you want or Google Sheets. For me, I just read the data points and put them in a table. For the Atwood, you need acceleration. Um, it was about a one second experiment and there's about 20 data points there. I just just looked at them and I picked about a median point and I wrote that data down in a table. So here's my data. I did five trials. Uh, the first two were just tests and trial three, four, and five was actually the Atwood machine with the total mass being the same and moving the weights from the cart to the to the falling weight. And the data works works out very well that way.